hello all uh, welcome to the another video of purchasing module today now i'm gonna discuss about the purchasing services before we was focused on the purchase items and how the item will be processing throughout the purchasing module now this time i'm gonna discuss a bit about the purchasing services and let's begin so the purchasing services is basically what i meant is when when you have to buy some uh, some utilities or the rent or the consulting from some other company on the daily basis and you have to create a document a purchase document uh, based on that service that's called the purchasing a service from the other company right but as there would be no inventory or there would be no warehouse involved in the whole process there are basically two types of document which are involved one is the purchase order which is like not mandatory but it's always good to create the purchase order in the process to track the documents and having having the reports uh, and the payment for the future uh, reference then after after making a purchase uh, uh, purchase order you uh, get the service receipt right and on that so based on that service receipt send it by the uh, by the company from where you bought the services you get the invoice and then you copy that information into your uh, your ap invoice and based on that ap invoice the outgoing payment uh, gonna generate so let's uh, let's see uh, why each step one by one right so basically adding up uh, uh, making the purchase order as a service basically there are two types one when you see you can create either by the item or the service a purchase order right so in the purchase uh, if you want to create a purchase service purchase order like but you do not want to track any master data then you can simply go into the purchase order right in here and add some vendor for example you are buying uh, from the general electronics some consulting uh, consulting per hours right um, in this tier account with the distribution rule you can select service right and by the way you can define the survey uh, define the distribution rules that's uh, the video for the another uh, day right I'm gonna discuss about that and when you hit the purchase order in here the, you, the purchase order will be get created in your system as a service type but there is no inventory for this you define this description by yourself and there is uh, could be the possibility to having some error right into uh, typing while typing let's say right so what you can do the other thing is if you want to track all the services like how many services you provided and uh, like uh, when you provide it and you want to see in all the reports then you have to maintain the item master data and I'm gonna show you how you should do that you can just open the my item master data and you created one uh, let's say item you want to see uh, okay you want doing the consulting right the consulting per hours right then in here is you have to uncheck the inventory and sales item you can also create the sales item as a service that's the story of another day again you can just check the purchasing item when you uncheck the inventory item it shows that there would be no inventory for this item and if you want you can define the price list for that particular item and then you hit it add right now the item is created and now if you want to add the purchase order for example for the same general electronic you select the items now you search for the consulting per hours right and you can add like how many times you did uh, uh, created the purchase order for what amount and if you get some discount so you can treat the whole service as a particular item but that's not a but in the, the item have no inventory it's just a service based item there is no warehouse or something is needed so basically you can treat the, your service as an item and you can track your uh, whole item uh, in the reports like uh, like you know in the different kind of various reports it's gonna show up so that that's one of the plus point for this kind of document using the item as a service 
right then there is the second way of creating uh, the services right in the bulk one so for example if you're paying the rent to your landlord right but that that thing gonna be every month right so instead of creating the purchase order every month you can simply create a recurring uh, transaction for that right so firstly you have to go to the recurring template you open it so for example i'm uh, i'm assuming that uh, you for example you just uh, in, in the template, you define a template code, you select the particular document uh, you want to execute, uh, you know, in the recurring basis, and then the recurring could happen daily, weekly, or different kind of way, right? Then on which date you want, and when it should start, what would be uh, the valid date, uh, and the price update, prices update if something will happen. And what happened then when you... Uh, when you save that template and the day of the execution of that particular template you will see in the in the confirmation of recurring transaction you will uh, a, tran a template will be pop up in here and you can simply execute that so it will create a uh, it will create a, a, a document so for example uh, let's say we can create one purchase order right uh, we can create one purchase order for based on this template, right? If the if you do not have any template, then you can basically create a one template using the purchase order. This screen will pop up is the same screen, and it will use the same template, right? So for example, let's let's pick our own uh, that we used, right? The consulting one I wanted for the five quantity every month on the date twenty six, right? Now this template is selected. Now I don't want it the monthly, but I just want one time and it should start today, right? And I'm gonna update it. Oh uh, yeah, sorry, it should be unique. So something like this. The POO was already exist. I created that already. So when you open this transaction, uh, this one, so you can see now PO2 is on our list because it should execute today. And when you execute that, a new purchase document is generated and you can see for the five quantity for today, we just created a purchase order. The second best thing, the second best thing about the SAP Business One is under the general setting, you can even enable the display uh, or recurring transaction on the execution. So whenever you log in into your system, it will uh, show you uh, the uh, a screen and you can execute your recurring transaction on the fly whenever you log in into uh, into the SAP business one for the next time so that is one of the best uh, I would say the functionality so another best thing about the SAP business one uh, regarding the service invoice is for example uh, let's come back to the let's come back and settle down in a point where you do not want to maintain a master data you only want to use the service based purchase uh, order right but uh, to uh, to avoid the reference right uh, to avoid the duplication of the same service uh, the sap business one is having a way to handle it so for example you create a purchase order right you create a purchase order that you want to buy some service from the general electronics and you wanted the consulting per hour this one right you you send that purchase order to them you get the service outside the sap business one now the vendor the general electronic will send you a invoice and the invoice number of their uh, uh, from their side is let's say one two three four right then you can simply save it you enter that invoice, the vendor invoice that you received from the general electronic, you save it into the vendor reference number and you save it. Now you can create an AP invoice to make the payment to the vendor and you can see, and if when you make the copy too, you see that the vendor reference number get copied in here as a new document and you will get a simple message and the invoice is added so now for example someone from uh, from the same department thought okay the the invoice is not exist there and you know but but like this purchase document is already they are closed right but this invoice is open like right? so someone said okay the document is uh, 
he maybe forgot or something and then he tried to create another purchase order from the same let's say i'm gonna just duplicate it right everything from the same vendor right with the same number he got okay and he wanna save it so now you have the eighth and when you now try to go and create the invoice and make the double payment against the same uh, invoice from the vendor then you're gonna get a message that the vendor reference number is already exists in the document for this type which gonna uh, like you know avoid the unnecessary duplication uh, duplication and unnecessary uh, duplication on the payment right so it's not gonna it's not gonna affect your system and it can simply give you uh, the error uh, or like let's say a warning but if you say yes i want it then it's gonna save the document anyway if you say no then it's not gonna save it and that's how it uh, the sap business one handle the duplication into the service type so as a summary like this was a small video i only talked about the uh, service based uh, documents and how you can handle it using master data and without using master data i also talk about when and uh, when you need the master data and when you do not need the master data up to you and you can also create the recurring uh, uh, documents for every month or every week or depends and uh, thank you for watching and we will see you each other on the next videos